T, and I pity the fool who don't answer the poll. <laughs> I don't know what Katie was doing, but it's awesome. Anyway, gang, welcome to the party. Today is dope. We got a master class. We're going to get into things that you use to listen to your live stream. We want to make sure you're hearing what they're hearing. A lot of people stream dirty, no headphones. They have no idea what the audience is listening to, or they can't hear their guests properly, or full gins. You have sound leaking out of your monitors because your head is enormous. So we want to, we want to avoid some of these things. So we came to talk to a professional. So I asked Laura to come on and talk to us. And you know what she said? She said, sure. <laughs> Oh boy. Uh, that that was a top, that was a Tom Buck joke right there. Tom, I love you. All right, here we go. I'm gonna bring on Laura. Hey Laura, how you doing? Hey, what's going on? <laughs> guys, guys, this is gonna be fantastic. So welcome to the show, Graham. Uh if you are unfamiliar with Shore, you probably are. You just don't know it. They've been in the game since uh, Jesus walked in Nazareth. I'm pretty sure. Yes, at, or at 1925, <laughs> but about the same. <laughs> at the speech on the Mount, I'm sure there was an SM58 in there somewhere. <laughs> so That's yes, hilarious. yes, it is definitely um, something you guys all know. Like majority of us in like in our community, we all use SM7Bs or MV7s. Um, you know, they're super, super. Fit. It's, thank you, David. David said that I work long in that joke. <laughs> <laughs> long and so, hard right so um yeah this is just one of those things like if you go into a radio station to do an interview you'll probably run into a shore microphone things like that but they're really really good at other products besides just microphones and for instance monitors right when we talk about monitors we don't mean a visual monitor we're talking about a hearing monitor so that you can hear what's going on Right. And so, yes, both of us are wearing in-ear monitors right now. Um, a lot of people say they don't want to wear cans. Where's my cans? A lot of people don't want to wear cans because they don't want to have this look on the stream. Or this. I, it squashes the curls. It's not, it's not um, a good look. Yeah, it swashes the curls. It's not a good look. Yeah, it does. <laughs> I, I, I've been wearing cans so long, it squashed all of my curls to the inside. <laughs> and they came out the bottom. <laughs> so you got to be careful of how you work the curls there, gang. All right, so That's what right. we're going to do, if you have questions, the way we like to work it is you put a Q colon and ask your question. It makes it easier for me to spot your question, and then we can find it. And then, <laughs> and then I'm... I'm laughing at the um, Loki comments because I just started watching Loki. <laughs> anyway, so guys, if you have questions, please drop them in. But um, yeah, let's talk about some various situations. Now, for me, my question this you know, I like to cheat and sneak in my personal questions first because <laughs> I'm, do I'm doing a metric crap ton of editing now, and I need to replace my can cans for editing because I need to make sure the sound is perfect. This is a little bit different from the live streaming. I want really, yeah. really good sound in my head. But then, you know, I live in Hawaii, so we have a tight space. So I'm like, yeah. I want something that will sound good wired and wireless. So, Dr. Shore, what would he have Dr. in this Shore is what in the office. In this cate category? <laughs> we happen to have these cool little guys right here. Oh, this is so called gorgeous. Aonic 50. This is our white variant, but we have it in black and brown. See, we and talk about are... Loki and you say variant. I like it. <laughs> okay. All right. I, I'm here for it. I haven't watched Loki yet. Don't judge. Um, <laughs> I'm currently watching Below Deck. We're a little behind the curve, but it's Oh, I like so Below good. Deck. That is so it's good. It's horribly <laughs> trashy. I love it. Oh, my God. Uh, so... <laughs> So Aonic 50s, if you're wanting to go wireless, these are wireless Bluetooth noise canceling headphones. Um, and they give you up to 20 hours of battery life. So no worries there. They recharge with a USB-C cable. But I love that it has this little tangible button here. Cause like I've had some other headphones that you're like swiping things and hoping that it works. But this is like, you know, environment mode on, noise cancellation mode on. And you can feel it click and you know what, what mode you're in. Um, and you can use your your virtual assistant, so you know Siri and all that jazz. Um, so these sound incredible, and they're great for wearing for long periods of time. So if you want to be wireless, you can go this route. Um, I always recommend going wired, though, especially if audio is super super important in terms of mastering or mixing, 
and we make a full line of studio headphones, our SRH line, which I also happen to have just like, you know, beneath <laughs> um, <laughs> these are the SRH 840s, which are a super great affordable pair of studio headphones that I use and do all my mixing on currently. Um, but if you want to go up a notch, the SRH 1540s are out of control, good carbon fiber, lightweight, super durable. That's what you want to go for. If you're doing something where like the clarity is really, really important. But if you also want to be on the go and, you know, have noise cancellation, See, Aonic 50. That That is, you know, you have me at carbon fiber. I don't know that every time I hear that word as an ex race driver, like I go carbon fiber. <laughs> it's what? like free whiskey what <laughs> yeah, cool yeah exactly that is exactly yeah they're so awesome those those ionic 50s are so gorgeous and i love the big cushy headphone thing at the top mm -hmm. so does Very environment good. mode like allow me to like hear what people are saying and still listen to my groove but yes. i can pretend like i have my headphones on and ignore them if it's not <laughs> yes i'm not going to say that out loud but yeah. Okay. Don't worry. Karen's not watching. It's She's for studying safety. For a test. Okay. <laughs> it's for safety purposes. No, it's, it's great because yeah, if you're using them while you travel, like if you're on a flight and the flight attendant comes by and you want to, you know, not pop your headphones off, you can put it into environment mode. You can use our app to adjust the level of environment mode. If you want to hear a lot more or a lot less, um, you can and also adjust several settings within these headphones using our shore plus app. So, um, yes, Kevin, that's yeah. what I was talking about last week because I have like 27 flights coming up in the next three or four months. I'll be on so many Whoa. airplanes. I'm just going to go ahead and say, can you leave 22 G open to always? That's going to be my seat. That's, that's my your seat. seat. All right. That's my All seat. Right. Always. You Good know, it's know. the last extra comfort row. Cause I'm kind of tall, but before you get to economy and then it's just in the middle. So mm -hmm. as a person who knows where the parachutes are, I know how to get out just in case nice and I, i've it. come out of the sky about almost 300 times so i know what to do so i'm ready to run <laughs> okay uh I'm learning I, i'm learning so many things today. <laughs> i'm reading crazy. i'm reading this avatar but i'm reading it as a question and i'm like okay <laughs> don't be scared let's talk about it oh wait wait a minute that's not the question the, the comment is no. those are so nice okay those are nice. a lovely avatar i absolutely love that but yeah it caught me um Ooh, Brian, my buddy Brian, he helps me with my, you know, gorgeous face for us over here. He says, what is the most underrated Shore product? I like that question. Damn. You mean like what's one that's a secret weapon that nobody really pays attention to? Is that what yeah, we're going yeah. for? SM27 condenser microphone. Ooh. 100%. D D or now, now you know the answer, Brian. Or the SM86 live stage condenser microphone. So good. But um, yeah, those two are kind of like the underdogs that don't get any love and they're my faves. Um, I'm time ras masquerade. You're not allowed to ask that question because you know Doc will go long and deep on that and then I'll get in trouble because we're not supposed to <laughs> we're not supposed to say that. Um, well, but just watch any of my personal streams and you'll hear me wax rhapsodically of how much I hate those snowmen that has nothing to do that was not from laura does not represent her her, her conversation it nope. does not represent the ecam network you know anyway so i really i really like the concept of the ionic 50s although i try to tell my people yeah don't monitor wireless because there's just too many things that can go on and the bluetooth right. stack can fail you at the worst opportune time but yes it does have cable ability right so when you do want to like just do monitoring for Final Cut or for iMovie or something like that, yeah, you can you, can, plug you can run the cable. So I, that's yes. a good hybrid model. But if you want to go all in on studio, then get the SHR series. S R H S R H S R H yes. okay. 1540 yes. or 1440 studio or 1840. real headphones. That's what it means. Yeah, totally. <laughs> A, or, or sure real headphones there you go yeah there you go so yeah. that they, whenever you need real headphones get the sure red the sure real headphone series and go then for you'll, that. Be square, and you'll be squared away <laughs> yes uh, that's what the we marketing say. team is like man we spent hours working on that and then doc just comes <laughs> up in here 
Look, guys, I just want to test out my new overlay I made yesterday. So these oh, are the so ones, that, the SRH440s. These are the ones if you want to just, like, make sure that you're editing things, like your post-productions and things like that, these would be good. Or if you don't mind wearing headphones in the party, those are good. And then these are the Ionic series up here. And I don't know why I've been slipping. I guess it's because I've been so busy watching the cans that I did not know that they had these little Natalie Portman size over here, which are just like incredible. Look at that. that yeah. Cool. So these are the, these are our Aonic 215s. And let me, let me put you over there. Cause that, that looks cool. Yeah. So this is, this is what is the wireless situation. And then you have your 215s. That's the actual earphone, but these detach. So you can go from wired to wireless oh my just like the aonic 50s oh my God. and oh so my God. what yes yes Yo. and then they have this cool case to charge it in you get three charges out of this case um and pairing is super simple they sound fantastic and the, the benefit of our um earphones is the sleeve that's on here it's um memory foam so it has what's called sound isolation technology, which means it's going to block out any external environmental noise and give you the best seal and the best listening experience. These also have environment mode, though. So just like the Aonic 50s, you can adjust that and hear other things around you. So if you're using these while you're running or walking the dog or, you know, whatever, monitoring, you want to be able to hear dog, your kids screaming outside the... Yeah. Um, <laughs> then you can. <laughs> Sorry, I haven't beat this butthead moment. <laughs> it just came out. That was all right. Walking the dog. Walking the dog. Da, 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 oh my god. Da. Yeah. <laughs> Sweet. Hey there, Team Sure. Hi. This That's is so my brother, fun. June. We we used to sell lots of Sure stuff at our store back in the day. And nice. So, yeah, we we love. Man, these these two fifteens are the business. Let me get to the, this cool swanky overlay here. These Ooh, are the business because look, gang, you got clarity mode. These are I call them Claro, right? And then you got the black ones, which you want if you're trying to hide. You got darker hair. It's kind of cool, mm -hmm. right? You can rock the blue mode, which is half Claro, half blue, and then they got white. Yeah, these are swanky. And they're on sale, think, gang. They're on sale for 150 bucks right are. now. So that's I think cool. a lot of people, too, when they see them, they're kind of like, oh, that looks really like it would be weird and bulky, but it sits in such a nice spot right over your ear. That you know, just, so it's, yeah, it's really cool. Yeah, I love those memory phone tips. Um, back back in the day when, when I was in college in Japan, I had the – Oh, I forgot what they were called. Like, like four, they were like 450 or 415s or something. They're small in ears and they were the dopest headphones ever. But what I love is because it had the memory foam tips. So, yep. a lot of people ride trains constantly in Japan. So, a headphone, like you go to a headphone store at, a, at the like Yodobashi camera, it's like a whole floor. And oh, you yeah. could just go in and buy the foam tips and just have them on deck. So you could just throw them away. Like if it's a hot, humid day, I'm not wearing those again. Take it off, throw <laughs> it out, you know, and just pop yeah. them in. So I really love the memory foam tips idea. Plus, they're extremely comfortable for extended wear. And I think yeah. a lot of people don't do that. And the, when it expands, that seal is like, mm, chef's kiss perfect. Like it's dope. I really like that. <laughs> yes. Stop laughing yes. at me. I, I am weird. I love I, it. I don't, no, I don't know if great. anybody forgot. Katie didn't warn you, but yes, I am a strange person. <laughs> no. <You have laughs> hey, Kabuta, character. konnichiwa. Okay. Yeah, I speak about Japan and Kabuta pops up in here. Good to see you oh, here. Oh, I love it. Um, and let's I'm just making sure we have any questions. Yeah, those Ionic 215s are gorgeous. Um, Katie, if you see a charge on the company card, it wasn't me. It was Caleb. <laughs> it, was totally, it was totally Caleb. Blame Caleb. <laughs> Oh. I get to meet Caleb in real life. I'm really? so excited at Podcast oh. Movement. Oh, yeah. Oh, he is so excited about going there. Uh, yeah, he said, are they comfortable to wear with people with eyeglasses? Yes, yes because you have to sit these on top. That's a fantastic question, David. Mm -hmm. That's a really good question. Yeah, any of our in-ears are made to wrap around the ear and wearing glasses right over the top. I mean, Doc's wearing them right now, too. He's not wearing our earphones, but no judgment. Um, and then, but yeah, it's not, they can, it's not yeah. my fault. It's not my fault. I promise. Right 
I, I kind of think the cool thing about the 215s is because, again, for stuff what we're doing right now for monitoring our lives, those would be cool because I would wear the cable and I don't throw it behind my back because I don't care if anybody sees the cable. Right. But a lot of people, right. they don't want to see. But if you notice in the picture, the musician guy, he was on stage monitoring his his work, uh, lost the picture. Yep. Um, but he had the cable running down the back, which is extremely common because yeah. then you don't see it in the front. Also, maybe that's better because it's not rubbing against the guitar. You accidentally do something weird. But yes. I like the fact that you can pop it off, put it on, and you go bike ride, you know, catch the plane, do something like that. So in a way, that's kind of the most versatile um, thing. Yes, yes, June, I feel you, right? When we used to get everything we needed for our dealer pricing. <laughs> I to still, be for life. Yeah, I still have all of my microphones and stuff around here. I have my, my cordless, like... That my cordless system hung on forever. I bought a new one, and it, it's they're just one of the best cordless mics out there um, because it will get thrown around if there's any intoxicated DJing going on. Anyway, mm, um, <laughs> Sammy says, "What's your favorite short microphone?" I think she said that the twenty seven. Yeah, well, the underrated is the SM twenty seven. My favorite short microphone is the SM eighty six. Ooh, didn't see that one coming. There you go. Yeah. There you well, go. the SM86, because I'm a singer-songwriter. So. Yeah. Oh, I got it. There you go. So oh, that's my not, live. There'll be, there'll be no singing and songwriting today. I make songs a lot um, in the shower that no one else ever hears. <laughs> but, well, you got to put them out there in the world. I mean, life is too short. If you got songs in your heart, get them out there. Don't hold it in. I, I'm a, I'm the Weird Al Yankovic guy of switching lyrics around. <laughs> oh, Perfect. So, so now in when it comes to monitoring um besides the ionic say somebody wanted to go and skip the wireless part like what would mm -hmm. be sort of the the really cool in ears just like standard i'm going to use them wired i don't ever want to be bluetooth what, what would you suggest for someone in that nature for in ears yeah the mm -hmm. se215 so the predecessor or the this headphone but just wired and there's a wired variant of it. So like I was saying, you can take these right off of the Bluetooth adapter or you can just buy them as a wired. As option. a wired variant. Yeah. Got and it. we launched a couple new earphones this year, which kind of got lost in the pandemic shuffle, but the Aonic 4 and the Aonic 5 also launched. And that's a completely retuned version of, if you're familiar with our SE 425s and 535s. Yeah, yeah, that's the ones that I had all through Japan. And yes. the, my last trip to Japan, I accidentally, I was opening my backpack to get something and I dropped it into the track. And I was like, well, that's oh, that. That's the ones I was talking about, the yeah. SE 425s. I love Sad. those headphones. They are amazing. And they were what used to go with my nice little Helio deck over here. <laughs> so... It's, and we it, still we still make those so it's like they're not they didn't just you know here, they didn't die guys what they're on the about. wired yeah they're on the yeah. wired variant side of things so like for in-ears if you buy them you can still get the 425s or if you just yeah there you go if you want to buy those right now you can um and so there's those on the pro side and then we made this kind of like other consumer type with the aonic three four and five and the threes are cool because you can wear those. They're not the the in ear that kind of stick out a little bit, and so um, those are good if you're wearing glasses because they can be worn down as opposed to up and over your ears. So that's uh, another. There option. you go. So here's the here's the Aonic threes right here. Mm -hmm. And there you this go. Is, this is super cool. Oh, I like the shape on that. That's cool. Hey, you yeah. know your connector, your speed connector. Um, we call it a quick quick disconnect QDC. Um, is it universal across the entire line or are they different? Universal, yes. Oh, so that's good to know, guys. If you need something portable, um, yes, Fulgens, I'm glad you're here because we need to get you new in-ear monitors that don't leak into my stream. <laughs> <laughs> so yes. this these are cool because with that quick disconnect gang, if you stay in the family, you will be able to change headphones or earphones. Sorry, in this particular case, uh, you'll be able yeah. to change earphones if you want to go to something like the two um, fifteens when you're on the road, and maybe you want to have wired threes for in the studio. You could just interchange the parts. So 
That's dope. Yeah. And then yeah. let's check out the the slightly uh, higher ones just because I'm Doc and this yeah. is how I roll. <laughs> well, I'm monitoring right now. I'm being super schmancy. I'm monitoring with our um, SE846s. So. Oh, I see. We're just going to go all out here and just scare people. All right. So, so these are the top. these are the nice ones. So what what is the primary difference between say the three to four and the fives? So there there's a really big difference actually. So the fours and the fives have been completely retuned, like I was saying, and the four have dual hybrid technology, which is like dual drivers. So something very different for us. Like we're we're typically balanced armature only. Um, so it's giving you this really cool listening experience that we've never really done before. And the fives give you a little bit more in the, in the base side of things. So, oh, um, cool. yeah, they're really, really sweet. James so, Hicks, I know work. James here, James Hicks is here somewhere, somewhere. Cause he, he just bought, I believe these cause he was oh. posting it in the chat. And then I was like, dude, I kind of hate you right now. <laughs> <laughs> No these judgment. are cool these are like really cool there yes. you go gang so i mean it's it's really a matter of going in and sorry i pressed the wrong button there you go doc it's really a matter of going in and sort of finding the style that you like and knowing what your purpose is going to be i like the idea of getting anything that has a quick disconnect because again if you decide you need to go wireless like maybe you use these for your studio all the time and then mm -hmm. you're like one day I'm going to go on this trip. You could actually pick up one of the Aonic like 215s, but then switch the head to use your higher yeah. quality head. And then you, you can, can get just that. the adapter too, the true wireless oh. adapter. So oh, you can, you can get buy it a separate. The... Oh, see, yeah. now we're cooking with Pam. Yeah. I didn't know you could just buy a separate. That's even yes. cooler. All right, yes. cool. Yes, we should. Um, Don't try to just stick this on your other generic headphone. It's not going to work. You have to have the short, quick to dis disconnect. Yes, it's an MM MMCX connector is what it's called. Yes, um, like our Fulgen. Headphones. So that's similar to what I'm wearing. They they have really high sensitivity. So what a lot of people, because they have a plus or minus three sensitivity, when you move one notch, it goes far. So it's not as granular when you're adjusting your volume. And the disadvantage to high sensitivity ones is because of the, the way that they work, sometimes the where you want it is too low. So you come up to the next one and it's too loud and there's no sort of in between. So a lot of people get suckered by the number of the high sensitivity rating, but then don't realize that's taking away their granular control in the sense. So yes. the other opportunity is get instead of your mixer or something, use a legit headphone app because it will have a better potentiometer for the volume and normally give yes. you more control between the stops. I think I said that right. You did. And on that <laughs> note, I have to leave you. Okay, cool. Cam fam. I'm so sad. We were just happy to have you here for sure. For sure. That's funny. See, I'm being Doc again. <laughs> Everybody that's, say that's aloha to life. Laura. She came in and rocked it with us today. I'm going to stick around and answer questions for you guys. And I appreciate you, LD. You a rock star. I mean, literally. Yeah. <laughs> no, not a rock star. But thank you so much for listening to me. For hey, there you go. Yeah. Now we know what to do. So we, you will be hearing from me. I'll be bugging you some more. And thank I love you for it. helping us and see you at Leap. All right. Bye. Aloha. Bye. Gang, wasn't that freaking awesome? Let me come in and check the comments to see if you guys have any comments for us. <laughs> Felicia said, it looks like I will be stopping by the music store today. Hello, Felicia. Good to see you here. And we see we got Mr. Camera Junkie in the chat. We got Anna in the chat. Boom, boom, boom. Um, you could start. Yes, I like that, right, Mr. Camera Junkie? I think to me, that's one of the cooler aspects of this situation is you can start with the wired set. Um, you know, like the Ionic 3s is $199. bucks. is not too expensive. You could come in. Actually, the wired 215s, let me look at these real quick. I don't know if these have the disconnect. But the wire 215s are 99 doll hairs. And if it does, yes, it does look like it comes with a quick disconnect. Here, let me um, make a new thingy thing real quick. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm um, building blocks. You guys want to see what I did? Look. Woo! Yay! Okay. Then we're going to move this right here and move this right here. Boom. Just so we can be here. So you can see Mr. Camera Junkie. This one does do the disconnect. So you could buy something like the Ionic 215 wired 
and then later go in and buy the wireless adapter to, you know, see what it's about. So that's really, really dope. Um, Rich, these technically would be the AirPod replacement for the Shore. If you looked at the wireless variant of these, um, yeah. But if you mean something that, not that wireless thing, dog. If you, if you mean something that doesn't like wrap around your head, no, I think they got the dope wrap around your head model because it stays better, right? You know, a lot of the people that are going to be using the Shore are going to be more than just a casual listener. So I think that's the reason why Shore went for wrapping around the nugget a little bit, right? So if you look at these Ionic 215 True Wireless, just the way that they, I, mean, I swear this lady reminds me of Natalie Portman. I just check it out every time. Um, but yeah, the way they wrap around, I think you have a better chance of them not falling out. And as you know, Rich, Fulgens and I complain about being highly craniated. And so if you're a highly craniated person like us, they, they kind of don't fit that well. I actually changed, do I have them in my pocket? I changed my caps on my AirPods to make them stay better. I went and got sure fit caps. So I kind of like the hook, especially if it's not going to bother my glasses. So definitely going to have to pick these joints up, right? Kim, I'm with you. Learned a lot today. Very, very dope. Everyone is saying my halo. Um, Anna says re really likes the SE 215s because recommended by June. Why would you listen to that guy? Yeah, these are super cool. I really like these. Let's see. Um, this is the blue set again so you can come in and pick any colors um i like these so the the wireless variant will have microphone technology so that you can make a phone call um it says right here enjoy clear calls with exceptional through our with exceptional audio through the integrated microphone for video conferencing and phone calls and things like that so yes this would be dope for that and that connector, that QDC we were talking about, June is saying that it uses the MMCX connectors, which is dope because that means that if you want upgraded cables, right? Like I use upgraded cables. If you want to get upgraded, there's a huge market of upgraded cables out there that use the MMCX connector. So that is kind of dope sizzle right there. So yeah, I kind of like Luis's idea. You know, especially now they're on sale, right? Because they were two twenty nine, but now they're one hundred and fifty. So, not a bad look. You know, you can rock these bad boys. Ionic two fifteen true wireless, and if you you know want to go wired, it's only going to be ninety nine bucks. So, not too expensive um, when you come in there for some in ear monitors. And yes, so that's the cool part about the MMCX cable. If you want to just wear it wired without any extra love, you can do that as well. But quick, guys, if you guys have any questions for me, um, by all means, drop it into the chatty chat. And then if not, I'm going to go stare out the window and look for the UPS man because <laughs> we got surprise for you later. And on and Fulgence, I just want to say I love my new overlay here. Let's do this again. This was built last night on building blocks in the Ecamm community. So if you didn't get a chance to see it, by all means, watch it. You'll have to skip around because naturally there was myself and Anna and Fulgens and this turkey. So there was some goofing off in the middle, but we did actually make this entire thing. And gang, if you guys, <laughs> if you guys weren't paying like attention or you weren't there, I'm going to show you again. This entire thing is text box. This isn't any fancy overlays. All of this stuff right here is built in text boxes, right? Look at that. Every single one of that is built using the text boxes. Thank you to Anna and Fulgens for teaching me how to do it, and it's good. And if you want to know what it sounds like when you're uh, monitors don't fit in your ear and the sound leaks out. Also watch that video because then you can hear Fulgen's headphones leaking. <laughs> I'm going to stop messing with you, Fulgen's. You know I love you. <laughs> this is so cool, though. I really, really like this overlay. This overlay is 
boss. Like, straight up, it's boss. Here, let's do this again. I just love it. All text boxes, all the way, and super cool. So this is for anyone that's watching, say you don't have a machine that's super powerful, but you want to add a little, then you should definitely follow the um, Building Blocks channel. Hey, Amir, good to see you here, boss. He wrote me a paragraph. I'm using a delay in milliseconds on the broadcast audio settings because I have a camera which has a little bit of delay. How can I exclude the video? It What? How can I exclude the video because it was recorded on sync? When I'm using a display in the broadcast in the audio settings, because I have a camera with a little bit of delay, how can I exclude the video because it was recorded on sync? Oh, you mean like, do you want to take the sound out of the video after? Because if you click the... Uh, If you click in audio and you have this bottom section on down here. Boom. Come here. Wake up. Wake up, Maggie. I think I got something to say to you. Okay. If you click down here, this isolated section, your folder will end up with the video track and individual audio track. So they'll be separate. So if you just need the audio then you can just pull the audio track am i understanding what you're asking because yes uh yes june just spoke through the closed captions <laughs> yes so if that's the case amir by using this um record isolated audio situation here in the bottom that will allow you to basically have the audio track separated when you come out um, let me know if that answers your question. If it's something else, we will get you squared away. I normally do use the uh, delay. I have mine set for four um, because um, Sony. So it's just a thing for Sony microphones. It's always, I mean, sorry, Sony cameras is always four. But uh, yeah, while I'm waiting for Amir's next question. Oh, I think they covered it. We might have got it. Amir, if that doesn't work, by all means, send me an email, and then we'll see if we can get you squared away. Um, I know I'm going to teach you something. If you want to laugh at June, um, laugh at him in Korean, use KKKKKKK instead of ja 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 That's the Korean version of laughing. Um, what video would you recommend we watching on your channel, Doc? When I want to upgrade my mic and headset products from what I'm using now. Um, simple, buy SM7B <laughs> and and any headset that you like after that. Um, you know, microphones is a really weird situation and you will try all kinds of things. On the low end, my favorite mic is either the Samson. Wait, let me grab it. That was the sound of my um, deck layer for my Rodecaster Pro. On the low end, thank you, Pastor Felicia, is the SMQ2U. This guy at 60 bucks will cover just about everything. This is really dope. Um, has a switch for digital muting. It has the, don't, be, don't show off, June. It has USB and XLR, so you can still start USB now, but use the XLR later. It's kind of built off the SM58 technology, so it will have that sound and that clarity and that audio rejection that SM58s are known for. Again, it's like literally a $60 mic. Um, the next step up would be the pod mic, which is back there on the shelf. That'd be a hundred bucks, but that will require an interface. Um, it's pretty good. It's very similar to this. This just has a little bit extra warmth, extra clarity and amazing mic presence. When you want to come in and talk soft, you still keep that volume. This is the business. When you really, really just like decided I'm going all in and I want to do it right, then this is it. SM7B, like, period. Now, to Kevin's comment in the chat, the ATR2100 and this are identical twins. The AT21, ATR2100 is Ken and this is Glenn. They're the exact same microphone. The only difference between the Samson and the ATR, the ATR would be 20 bucks more because they had to basically buy it from Samson. I don't know if anybody knows that, but that's the truth. 
Samson makes both of those microphones and about three other mics that are the same thing, but they're just labeled under different companies. But it has been for many, 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 many years. Um, most people knew the ATR 2100 first because their Samson built it for them. And then they had a, you know, keep your mouth shut for like three years license that went away. And then Samson was able to sell it. So now it comes out as a Q2U, but it is the business. So Samson Q2U at 60 bucks, the pod mic at a Hyundai or the SM7B at 399. And honestly, as you matriculate through the, the blocks, when you get to this, you'll be like, why didn't I just get that in the first place? And so, I can tell you that because I did exactly that. I went from Samsung Q2U to the pod mic to the SM7B, and there, you can't peel this out of my hands. Like, this the reason why all your top podcasters and everybody use it. I guess the best equivalent to this would be the Rode Podcaster, not to be confused with that thing. That's the... That's the Rodecaster. There is something called the Rode Podcaster. It's roughly the same price. And then there is something known as the Heil PR40. Those are all good, but I like this better. Uh, what type of overlays are you trying to make? We have hundreds of videos on overlays between myself and Brother Bradley and everybody and the Building Blocks team who is full gins up here somewhere in the chatty chat. He is the overlay king, and so is Anashi, because that overlay that you're watching me make right now, this overlay is 100% text boxes. Like, it is the business. There is no Canva. There's no Photoshop. There's no Illustrator. There's just text boxes. Each one of these individual pieces is nothing but text boxes. So it depends on what type of overlays you're attempting to make. And if you came here late... I actually even had one text box, not that. I had a text box for my for my guests was on there, and yeah, so you can get in, you can get in there. Uh, yeah. So that's that's this is the overlays I'm talking about. Yes. So, uh, it's in the ecam community on Facebook. We did it yesterday. So just look for ecam quick tips building blocks, or just just um follow the building blocks channel. Hold on. Kevin, you're the moderator. You're supposed to go get the Building Blocks channel link. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. B U I L D I N G B L O C K S. Learn how to type. Oh, la 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 la. Not that kind of Building Blocks. There we go. So we go to this channel. And then we click this link, and then we go to here, and then we say, why Kevin didn't put this in the chat? Kevin's fired as moderator. Click that link, save it in your um, save it in your thing. What's that word called? In <laughs> your bookmarks. Good load. The dude, the dude is losing it this morning. There you go. Save that in your, bu in your building blocks. Save that in your link, and you'll see they come up with new overlays every time, and these are all using the built-in Ecamm Live text box so it's pretty swanky i gotta say i'm giving them jokes but yes this there is pretty swanky like what we were doing yesterday is so good like it's amazingly good and the keys to it is you can go in and use the emoji keyboard to do some really fancy things that's the part about it that I absolutely love the most. Um, we were having a blast yesterday using the emoji keyboard, and you can do all myriad cool things with it. Like, it's super dope. It's super dope. <laughs> he said, oh, he's in the classroom distracted by teaching little kids. It's I know it's Lego. Who said anything about Lego? What are you talking about? Rob, you're confusing me. I'm going to ignore Rob for now. <laughs> okay, so don't be scared. Let's, scared. Let's talk about it. The Samson mic is the Samson Q2U. That is the really, really good, like, basic mic. Oh, another entry-level mic, which I find to be super cool. 
We did an entire masterclass this on the channel about three weeks ago, and we go through the Revelator. This mic is dope, 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 dope. It's really cool. It it has so many features. It has built-in loopback for you people concerned about loopback or needing to do things where you're routing, say, Ecamm into Zoom or vice versa, Zoom into Ecamm. So the PreSonus Revelator runs about $129, and it is quite amazing. Hey, it is quite amazing, Mike. Should we talk to Miss D while we're live on Ecamm? No, Miss D, go away. Diane is going to call me and be like, you hung up on me? Ooh, so if you guys don't see me later today, it's because I hung up on Diana. <laughs> so let me show you guys this Revelator. It is really nice. And if you get a chance to, uh, don't be scared, let's talk about it. Again, absolutely love the name. Look at the Ecamm channel for a master class roughly about three weeks ago. And I'm talking about the Revelator with um, Eric from uh, PreSonus. I don't want to say PreSonus. It is a super cool mic. Like, it can do lots and lots of things. It has really cool interface that, you know, you can come in, you can do things. You can do vocal changes. Like, you can make yourself sound like a space alien. Um, yeah, you can do all types of cool stuff with this bad boy. Um, you know, and Floyd, if I have to put this up against the one in the back, If I have to put that up against this road, the Revelator wins. And I am a road fan, like hardcore road fan. I think the Revelator, the software, the mixing situation, the loopback situation, I think it's a better setup all the way around. Um, they sound roughly the same. The one dope part about the Revelator is it is double-sided so that you can listen to both people okay now i'm curious hold on let's come back i see product coffee is here um product coffee we need to be friends just because it says coffee <laughs> it's like coffee is my favorite sport felicia this overlay was built by me but i was being um manipulated i mean instructed by anna and fulgens so <laughs> this whole thing was built in text boxes yesterday. Yes, this this is the Rode NT USB Mini. If it sounds dope, um, it's pretty good. But it, it, the thing with these micro USB mics sounds weird. Is what makes these guys really um, special is the USB the USB software the software that will allow you to control the USB microphone. That's the English that is attempting to process from the face. Um, so they're basic capsules, right? So they're not like super over the top mics, but they're able to be dope or look good because the, the software does the work. Think of the smaller, like, okay, how can I explain this? Think of the Lexus IS 300. It is a Toyota Corolla with an amazing body kit and upgraded leather seats. So when you see it, you see it as a small luxury car. Your brain doesn't immediately go, that's a Toyota Corolla. Or the Mercedes C-Class is a Chrysler, a Chrysler Sebring. Like it's the exact same car, but slap the Mercedes badge on it, throw some doper leather seats on it and give it cool like creature comforts on the inside. And you're like, oh, it's a baby Mercedes. No, it's a freaking Chrysler <laughs> all day long. It's a, a $6,000 more expensive Chrysler. That's why BMW is the best because nobody, we don't share cars with anybody. We make our own stuff and nobody else copies them. Anyway, that's, so the reason why of these two microphones, although they are of identical quality, what makes the PreSonus better is the user interface, the things that the software does. The built-in loopback setup is way simpler. The voice crusher, being able to do things like broadcast voice or robot voice 
or, you know, special effects or like a hotkey way better. The ability to build sub mixes. You can bid sub headphone mixes way better. Two channels of loopback built in way better. Um, yeah, it's dope. It's dope. I have I have the road software um, on this computer. So I've used both microphones. And again, they're both really fantastic. They cost basically the same thing. But if I was going to start from scratch, I would say for right now, the Presonus is better. Now, Rode, the, the cool thing about USB microphones, because it is so heavily software controlled, most of these things can be fixed in software later, which means that you can gain parity after the fact. Out of the box experience, just open, put it together, use it, Revelator wins. So compactness, travel, like this is probably coming with me to uh, Albany and to California and to Boston because off of this stand, this thing don't weigh nothing. So this will be an amazing travel compliment. And yeah, so let me take it off the stand real quick because here's what's really cool about this guy. So here's the, the mic itself. It doesn't weigh anything. It's super tiny. And it just comes with a little thing, a magnet guy that you could put on. There's a cap for this. And it just literally just, it just magnets to the stand. So I kind of like that. These two pieces will fit in the luggage like no problem. So really good on a portable level. Um, Yeah, so I think we might have to do a shootout so you guys can hear the differences between these two microphones. But I personally just happen to like the pre is better, but you know, your mileage might vary. I have a very deep and like crushing voice. So yeah, I, microphones are important to me. Like I can't, I just can't go grab something named after a snowman and talking to it. Cause it sounds like trash. I didn't say that. That was personal opinion. <laughs> I can't stand those things. <laughs> I know, right? Coffee. Speaking of which, I'm going to go have some. You guys got six minutes to ask me questions. So come on, fire them away, because otherwise I'm going to go brew myself a flat white. And then I'm going to go creep on coffee products page and see like what kind of beans I can confiscate from them. <laughs> right. That's the one thing. June, a hundred percent, bro. Like the one thing about these software oriented mics though, that a lot of people aren't adding into their thought. These are stop gaps. People, you buy these to get started, but don't stay there because the disadvantage of a software oriented mic is software becomes obsolete. You know, Apple is changing their hardware basically two times a year now. So you're going to go out here and you're going to get this piece and music, so music things or oriented things, sound oriented things are famous for breaking every time Apple updates to something. So when you go to uh, Monterey in September, it's liable to break all of this stuff. Um, David, I don't need an SM. Uh, uh, I'm going to find your answer, Paul. David, I don't use a cloud lifter for the SM7B because I am Puerto Rican. So I'm naturally loud. I don't need that. Oh, there you go. See, you had me you had me stuck at coffee, but I appreciate you because that's that's my favorite hobby. Here we go. The answer to the question from Paul. These bad boys. It's so crazy, Paul, because these guys are tiny. But they're cool. It's a two-pack for $17.99. Like, it's crazy. It's crazy. You know what I'm saying? That's the point. That is the point. These guys are super dope, bro. I'm telling you, literally, I love these things. Um, I'm probably going to get another two just to keep them, like, you know, on the side because you can use it to mount all kind of stuff. Uh, 
I'm going to copy all of that. And then I'm going to paste this into here. And... There you go. There you go, Paul. Now you're good to go. Oh, sacrilege, Anna. No, don't drink flavored coffee. I'm joking. <laughs> we have something here called um, macadamia nut, like, there's a Hawaiian, you know what? I'm just going to send it to your house. I'm going to send you a, a package of macadamia nut, coconut coffee, and it's delicious. Hawaii, Hawaii has fantastic coffees. I'm just going to send you one on it, and then you'll know. But yes, yes, David, no, no cloud lifter here, just loud, loud person. <laughs> Paul, I like that. I'm going to put this, oh, Paul, you don't even, I mean, not Paul. What's your name, Kevin? Kevin, you don't even know what I'm finna do. Okay, let's do uh, Anna and Full Gins right here. And then I'm gonna go. Uh huh, I'm learning, learning as we speak. And then I'm gonna go like this. Uh huh, put one of these. And then I'm gonna go over here. And do one of this. Come on, keyboard. And then do one of this. And then yes. Look, on and Fulgens, there we go. Thank you, Kevin. Thank you, Kevin. Okay, so put this to the right. And then save this. And then when we come to the overlay now, it's going to go like this. And then it's going to go like this. <laughs> thank you kevin you are my hero this is the reason why we made you the moderator there you go there you go tell him david actually the funny thing david the stuff from the big island because there's a gigantic lily okay there's this one farm that um a friend of our family owns is right next to a gigantic like lily koi area. So his beans have lily koi flavor in it naturally because of the proximity. And I guess the same bees like go over there and rub their butt in the lily koi. And then the bees come back and rub their butt in the coffee thing. And so for whatever reason, his coffee has a lily koi taste built in and it's delicious. It's absolutely delicious. It's crazy. Thank you, Floyd. Tell him. Tell him. Yes, we, we use the, the Puerto Rican loud lifter. Right, Luis? That's how we do it. <laughs> oh, yes. Yes. I love it. Now, and it will fly out. So when we hide this bad boy, out of there. Oh, that was perfect timing. Oh, I'm keeping this. I'm keeping this. I'm going to save this and send this to, <laughs> I'm going to send this to Ms. D. Uh, yes, I will send you some, some coffee from Hawaii and then you will like it. <laughs> but rub, but rub coffee is the new, Hey, if they can have those cats, let the beans out or the crivet, civet, serve it, serve it. There you go. I don't know why I always get stuck on that word. Anyway, gang, we did it. We had another dope masterclass. I learned a lot. I am probably low-key going to go to Guitar Center right now and then go check out some new Shore uh, stuffy stuffs because I need for the road. And, yeah, it's kind of dope. But I will be doing – we have more masterclasses coming up. We have some fantastic masterclasses coming up, by the way. So you guys want to make sure that you're locked in. Don't forget, coming up for you on Friday, Friday morning, same time, 8 a.m., I do the demo. So you guys that are new to Ecamm or you just want to bring questions, I cover this every single Friday from 8 to 9 a.m. my time, which is like 2 to 3 p.m. East Coast, 11 to 12 a.m. p. 11 a.m. to 12 p.m. West Coast. We cover the 
basically soup to nuts. We come in, I'll show you uh, overlays, I'll show you scenes, I'll show you monitoring, your mic, your guest interface, like all of the above. Um, maybe we'll have a cameo from the Building Blocks team um, trying to bother them. As soon, that's why I'm going to go right now and order Anna some coffee and send it to her house. Uh, so that way, yeah. So that way she can be, you know, basically ready for Friday just in case they want to come on and teach us how to do text overlays. And yeah, like Kevin said, uh, smash the like button on the way out if you didn't on the way in. And, you know, as a community manager for Ecamm, I got to say, I love you guys for always showing up and supporting our brands. We are working really, really hard with lots and lots of brands to make sure that we can find you guys the gear that matches your purpose. Right. We want to make sure that you're not out here just trying all kind of crazy stuff um, and, you know, having a hard time with your streams. So, of course, if you have any questions for us ever, you can always reach us at marketing at ecamm .com. If you run into a situation where you need some help from our geniuses. Sorry, I work, work at Apple um, from our tech support guys. You can send support desk at ecamm .com. <laughs> I was going to say email.com at support desk at ecamm.com and our support team. They will be absolutely happy to help you. And by all means, come to the demos anytime. Be happy to bring your questions. And we got Ken and Glenn coming up, I think next week, no a week after. Yes. So in two weeks, we'll have Ken and Glenn here to show you all the cool stuff and just confuse you to know which is on the left and which is on the right. Thank you guys for being here. I right. Myself, really appreciate you guys. Let's uh, play some cool music, and I will see you in the streams. Yay! Oh, it's coming on Friday. Wake up, baby. All the stars Aloha, are shining. Appreciate you. Yeah, we should stay up so that we can look at them all night. Just keep holding me, don't let me go Everything's so magical All I need is you tonight